uh, Hugh Hewitt among those watching and listening with us. Hugh, I can't wait to hear what you're going to say, but what are you going to say? I'm going to say I'm with Nicole and Chuck. I've been to this movie so many times. I've been an extra in this movie so many times. And when the numbers don't move tomorrow, uh, the inner ring of the inner ring is going to bang their head on the table and say, how could they not move? We all agreed Hillary Clinton won. Here's what I think happened. I think Donald Trump won the first. I clocked it at 39 minutes when birtherism came up. He blew that badly, terribly, and it turned the debate around. She then delivered a knockout blow on speaking to our strategic allies, but it was at about minute 85. I want to see where the audience went. Did the audience stay with the, the, the show for the entire 95 minutes that it went? But I will not be surprised in the least if the needle doesn't move. And I have to tell a Carville story. I was with James and Mary Madeline the day after the first debate four years ago, moderating a conversation between those two, in which Carville said then, and I'm sure he remembers it, the phones are lighting up in uh, President Obama's office with all the different advice on how to improve his performance. It doesn't mean a thing. It doesn't mean a thing. In four weeks, it's all different. It's going to be completely different. Now, I don't do a very good Carville, but I remember him very well. And I think tomorrow the needle stays the same, except for the people in Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Ohio, which were name-checked. And I realize that the pundit class all thinks Donald Trump lost. I thought he lost a lot of debates that I was on the stage for, and he won them. So let's just go with Chuck Todd's. We're in the surreal zone that, that we have not been before. And Nicole's caution. I think that's the better mix rather than John Podesta. I mean, it was just lunatic for John Podesta to say that Donald Trump wasn't coming for the next two debates. That's the worst spin of the night, if we're going to grade spin. <laughs> uh, Chris Christie had the hardest mountain to climb, but he did much better spin than John Podesta. <laughs> Hugh, I turned to uh, Rachel Maddow and said, wow, when you said you agreed with me, because I, <laughs> I feel like we haven't always been on the same page this year, which troubles me. Um, but <laughs> I, I want to know if you think that the never Trump people, many of our mutual friends, um, if you think any of them might become Hillary Clinton supporters after what they saw tonight on the narrow question of foreign policy and national security. He gave a lot of reasons for a lot of sober, loyal conservatives to have legitimate concerns about just, just his lack of interest in the granularity of America's foreign policy. You know, I don't think so, Nicole. There might be really? one or two. At, at See, the there, here we go again. We're, I, mean, I thought he gave them plenty of fodder. When he was hammering her on 30 years, the regulatory state, the economic policies, the fact that nothing would change and everything would expand. I was making notes and Frank Luntz's group was going up and I was thinking to myself, he's got this. He's got this nailed for 39 minutes because, uh, you know, the president uh, brings Hugh, we, I'm sorry to interrupt, Hugh. We've just got to jump in just for one second. Uh, go back to our friend Hugh Hewitt, who I so rudely so interrupted because uh, we got that live feed. Sorry, Hugh, to make you stop mid-thought there, but finish what you were saying there. Well, I think she's happy, and she is legitimately energized because she finished the debate strong. However, there are undercurrents in this election, I said it before the show, that I believe have separated the country into two deeply divided camps that tonight does not bridge for either of them. I regret that Donald Trump did not hammer the 33,000 emails home, did not hammer the server home, did not even mention the Supreme Court, not once. And, uh, and so there are two more debates, and I go back to what Carville said, James, just in the last segment, uh, and four years ago, watch that space. Uh, I just can't believe that, that anyone thinks he's not going to show up. That's just silly. Hugh Hewitt, thank you for, so much for joining us from Washington, D.C. tonight, and we'll work on your relationship with Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking tonight about uh, the role 